If you were in the same situation, I wonder what you would say. Hello and welcome to Paul at Home. My name is Paul and I'm at home. And today, one of my little characters wants to tell you something important. I wonder who it is and I wonder what he wants to say. And today we're joined by Kato. Kato, it's really nice to see you today. And you're really, really pleased to be here. And you're so excited. Okay, why, well, why are you so excited? Oh, you've got something really important to say. Okay, well, 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 let's hear it. What would you like to tell everybody? It's something that's really, really important. Okay. It's really, really very important. Okay. It's the most really, really important thing you've ever had to say. Okay, well, that's great. Tell us then. Um, I can see you're really excited. It's obviously really important to you. Let, let's hear what, what, what you want to say. It's so really, really important. You want to make sure that everybody hears it. Okay. And you want to make sure everybody understands it. Yes. So you want to be as clear as you can. You don't want me to get any of the words wrong. OK, well, tell me what you want to say and I will make sure that everybody hears your words. OK. It's so, so important. Yes. You don't think you want to do it yet. Oh, you mean you're going to make us wait? You want to make sure that everybody is ready to listen. OK, because it's so important. So what what does that mean? So we'll have to wait until the end of the video. Well, OK, that's fine. Kato will be back a little bit later on to tell us something really important. Kato, we'll see you later. In my last two Easter videos, I talked about how the people of Israel were looking forward to the Passover festival. I talked about how the disciples possibly looked down as Jesus washed their feet. And today, Jesus is going to ask his disciples to look out. He is going to ask them to watch and pray. But right now, let's go back to that upper room where Jesus and his disciples were having supper. Jesus had washed the feet of his disciples, including Judas. As they were sitting around the table, eating and talking, Jesus looked at Judas. He looked him in the eye and said, Go do now what you need to do. The other disciples had no idea what Judas was going to do, but Jesus did. You see, Judas had been paid 30 pieces of silver to betray Jesus. Judas was the first to leave the meal table. He put his coat on, maybe took one glance back and headed out into the night. The other disciples had no idea what Judas was about to do. They continued with their conversation around the table, listening to those amazing words of Jesus. But soon enough, the meal was over and it was time for them to grab their coats and head out into the night where Jesus was taking them somewhere very special. Jesus took his disciples to a garden called Gethsemane. Not exactly a secret garden, but a private garden, a place they had been to before. Jesus had gone to this private space to pray. You see, he knew what was going to be happening very soon. And he wanted to take time out and pray before his father in heaven. As they arrived in the garden, he asked some of the disciples to sit and wait. And he walked further into the garden with, with Peter, James and John. Jesus said to them, guys, would you watch and pray with me? And then Jesus left them alone as he headed further into the garden. It was about an hour later when Jesus returned to find the disciples fast asleep. He looked down at Peter, James and John and said, could you not wait, watch and pray with me for one hour? 
Wow, Jesus had been praying for an hour. He had been talking to his father in heaven. You see, Jesus knew what was going to happen next. Death on the cross and then an amazing resurrection. It wasn't going to be easy, but he made sure to pray before any of it began. Jesus returned back to see his disciples fast asleep. He looked at Peter, James and John and he said, guys, could you not wait just one hour? He asked them again to watch and pray. And Jesus headed back into the garden. Jesus was asking his disciples to watch and pray, not the sort of watch that tells you the time or, or say a quick prayer at bedtime. This was more like soldiers keeping watch to protect the city, standing on the city wall, keeping watch at night. A soldier would have to be awake and alert and ready for anything. Jesus said to his disciples, watch and pray. He was asking them to stay alert and be ready. For a second time, Jesus arrived back with his disciples and guess what? Fast asleep. Jesus woke them up again and said, watch and pray. And Jesus headed back into the garden a third time. As Jesus arrived back for a third time, guess what? The disciples were still fast asleep. And though he would have been disappointed, Jesus woke them. But this time he said, the hour is at hand. Get up and be ready. Jesus knew what was about to happen. Judas had returned. Judas arrived back in the garden, but he was not alone. This time he was with an angry crowd and they were here to arrest Jesus. Judas had arranged for a secret signal to tell the crowd which one was Jesus. The crowd stepped forward to take Jesus, but the disciples stood up, ready for action. It was Peter who drew his sword. Jesus said, put your swords away. I am here to do my father's work. The angry crowd took hold of Jesus. He was dragged out of the garden, taken and arrested. Meanwhile, the disciples, they ran away. There were one or two who followed, but they kept their distance. What they saw as they followed Jesus, I'll talk about in my next assembly. But today, I wonder what you would say in the same situation. For Jesus, it was going to be a difficult time, but a very important time. But he started that time in prayer with his Father in heaven. He said to God, not my will, but your will be done. And you know, we can do the same. Whatever lies ahead of us, we could pause and pray. So remember that for Christians, prayer is really important. It gives us a very real connection with a God who loves us immensely. But right now, I'd like to talk with a little friend of mine called Cato and find out what important thing he wants to tell us. Let's go and ask him. So Cato, tell us what important thing it is that you need us to know. It's still really important. But first, you need to talk about Jesus. Oh, you mean when Jesus was praying in Gethsemane? It sounded like a really important time. It was a very important time. But he took time to talk to God. He did. Yeah, that's right. There are a lot of things that we can learn from Jesus. Now, now, Cato, tell us that this important thing that you really want us to know. Um, I think you said it was very important. It's really important. It's top of the list of important things written on a piece of important paper. OK, so, so tell us what is it that you want us to know? Chocolate is delicious. Is that it? It, it's true, chocolate is delicious for a lot of people. And that's something you want everybody to know. Well, I think a lot of people do find chocolate delicious. And chocolate Easter eggs will be coming soon. You're right, Kato, it is going to be Easter really soon. Lots of great things to look forward to, a bank holiday weekend and possibly some chocolate Easter eggs. And let's remember, we can pray as well. 
we can talk to God in heaven, just like Jesus did, about all the things that we have going on each day. You think that's more important than chocolate? I think that's a lot more important than chocolate. Well, that's the end of our video for today. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. And you hope that everybody has a great Easter too.